This video covers information on how to process fish hygienically, efficiently, and safely. Fish processing can be a straightforward and easy task to complete if you know how to do it correctly. It is important to check the quality of a fish before you process it. Things to look for are clear eyes, bright gills, it should be cold to touch, and a fresh smell. The cold chain is important. It helps you keep your fish fresh. Fish should be washed and placed in an ice slurry immediately after capture and kept there until you are ready to process them. PPE must be worn at all times. This includes gloves, aprons, hairnets, and enclosed footwear. Before fish can be processed, the work area needs to be thoroughly cleaned using warm water, detergent, sanitizers, sponges and brushes. Working with knives can be dangerous. Here are a few tips to keep yourself and others around you safe. Accidents involving knives are common in the fishing industry. Cuts to the non-knife hand and fingers can lead to serious infections. Training in how to use knives safely will minimise these risks. Select the correct knife for the job. Keep knives sharp. Carry knives in a holster. Cut on a stable and clean surface. Use correct PPE. Don't try to catch a falling knife and don't carry knives while carrying fish or another object. This example will demonstrate a proper filleting technique. Cut diagonally from just behind the pectoral fin to the head. Turn the knife and follow the backbone towards the tail until the knife is past the stomach. Then, insert the knife all the way through the body and follow the backbone to remove the tail end of the fillet. Lift the fillet near the head and cut through the pin bones and over the rib bones. Remove the fillet and repeat the steps on the other side. Notice how the fish was cut with control and care, and no one was standing close by. There is always the possibility of an accident or the blade sticking or slipping. Also be careful and keep clear of others when sharpening blades. An extra tip is to put a damp cloth under your cutting board to prevent it from sliding. Removing the skin requires the same control and care as filleting you will notice a different knife is being used. Follow these steps to ensure that the skinning is done correctly. Hold the tail end of the fillet and make a small cut through the flesh at the tail end. Turn the knife away from you and slowly begin to pull the skin back and push the knife forwards between the skin and the fillet. You can store your fillets by wrapping them in glad wrap or placing them in a Ziploc bag. Once the fillets have been wrapped or bagged, they must be stored in a refrigerated area at a temperature of less than 4 degrees. Keep your area tidy as you work. Remember to clean and sanitise the processing area when you're finished. For more information on how to keep your fish fresh, please watch the cold chain video.